an apple tree and our parents. Once upon a time there was a huge apple tree. A little boy used to come to play near the tree. He would search for juicy apples. He would play alongside the tree and rest under the shade. The tree was overjoyed after meeting this little bundle of joy. One day, the tree was surprised to see that boy approaching it with a sad face. Come on little boy. Play with me, the tree asked the boy. I am no longer a kid to play around tree like you, the boy scowled at the tree. I need toys. I need money to buy toys of various designs and sizes, the boy told the tree. Sorry my dear boy. I do not have money to give you. But you can pick all my apples and sell them. That will give you adequate money to buy toys of your choices, replied the tree in soothing voice. The boy grabbed all the apples and left happily. He sold the apples and got money. He bought toys of his choices. Spring bid adieu and autumn came by but there was no sign of the boy. One morning, the tree saw its friend. That little boy had grown up into a big man. Come and play with me, the tree said. I cannot play. I have family now. We need a house for shelters. Can you help me, the man replied. Sorry. I do not have any house. But you can chop off my branches to build your house, the tree told the man. The man cut all the branches of the tree and left happily. The tree was glad to see his friend smiling again. The man returned one evening to the apple tree. Come and play with me, the tree asked the man. I am getting old. I want to go sailing to relax myself. Can you give me a boat, the man asked the apple tree. Use my trunk to build your boat, the tree told the man. He cut off the trunk and made a boat out of it. He went sailing and never showed up for a long time. The man returned after many years. Sorry my boy. But now I do not have anything to offer to you. I have nothing for you anymore. No more apples, no more branches, no more trunks for you to climb on the tree said with a pain in its voice. No problem, I too do not have any teeth to bite, and I am too old to climb trees, the man replied. I just need a place to rest after all these days, the man replied. Old tree roots are the best place to lean on. Come on and sit down with me and rest, the apple tree replied with a concern in its voice. The old man sat down. The apple tree was glad and smiled with tears. This is the story of every person. The tree is like our parents. When we were young, we could not have imagined our life without them. But as we grow up, we leave them. No matter what, parents will always be there and give us everything to make us happy.